What? Um. Hi there. Uh. Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been doing what I said I've been doing, where I go and explore places I have not been by tracking uh, where I have been with the Heroes Path mode. And I came across this. Pump it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth Goron Blood Brother, the one who somehow beat our famous gut ch check challenge. This is our ancestral training ground, little man. We're smack in the middle of a contest of endurance. Feel the burn, brother! We're training to become an even manualer Goron men, brother. Right now we're competing to see who can beat the heat. So sweaty, brother. Of course, since you can't, since you beat the gut check challenge, you want to try this too. We're Goron, so we can't really stand this extreme heat either, or but we can't stand it. That's why we came here to train. Be after this, we'll be able to handle the extra heat in Goron City, no problem. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah, come join us. Yeah, come to try the test of endurance yourself, brother. Sure. Good answer. A guy like you has a burning passion in his belly. It's inspiring, brother. We all have the same voices. Because Pal doesn't want to be able to tell your names apart. Aha. When you're ready, step onto this platform. Then the te contest of endurance will commence. Aha. Grace fire in all the world. Ooh, it's a shrine quest. Uh, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we were way up here. And, uh... Well, now we're here because I, as I said, I have been going, uh, I've been walking on these catwalks that were alongside the, the gorge, uh, and I've been finding quite a few Korok seeds from that, but then I also found this, so I guess we'll start off the episode with this and then go back to the Heber region. If you leave the ring or pass out, it's all over. You lose. Got it? Okay, prepare yourself for the contest of endurance. Go! Uh, what am I... I'm not sure what to expect. I'm standing here. What does it do? Oh, oh, I'm taking damage. Uh, can I... Can I just equip my gear? Can I... Can I cheat at this? Uh, where's my gear? Gear... That's the wrong gear. This stuff? Yeah. I'm perfectly fine. Right? Yeah. I sadly Oh, I do have an ice weapon. Oh, you you don't even know. I am I am so cool right now. Do do do. Oh, I'm so sorry. You lost. You can't stop my fanciful diner manners. Oh. Is that grandpa? Piece of cake. Apparently, just equipping sandals is enough to handle the world's most extremes of he heat. You're amazing! I never would have thought that the three Goron Blood Brothers would lose to you, brother. In fact, I'm granting you the highest honor, the chance to participate in the Contest of Ultimate Endurance. It's where our ancestors trained. It's considered the toughest test known to Goron kind. You see the ring behind me? The one surrounded in fire? Do you feel it in your gut? What a bad idea, uh, what a bad idea it is to go there. Your gut is dead on, brother. That special training area is even harder than the last ring. This contest won't just challenge you with heat, but also with fire. If you lose your focus, your body will catch fire. Make sure you're prepared for this, brother. It's, it's said that passing this test will reveal a shrine or some such. If you think you're ready, climb onto the ring. Do that, and our special contest of ultimate endurance will begin. Huh? Is that heat-resistant gear you have there, brother? A real Goron man wouldn't have to rely on wussy stuff like that. Goron up and take the challenge without any help. Uh... Uh, so... I have to unequip all of my stuff? Should I just go at this naked? I mean, I guess I could hold this. Maybe they won't mind. You're standing up there, which can only mean one thing. You ready to push yourself to your limits, brother? The rules for this contest of ultimate endurance are the same as ever. Leave the ring or faint, and it's over. 
Okay, time for the world famous contest of Ultimate Endurance. Go! Two, one. I can do it. Maybe. It looks like I'm still on fire. Oh, I'm still on fire. This is not. This is not helping. Okay. I am currently on fire. Can I run put it out? No, I can't. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I do this? That nah, does not work. Okay. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'm going to have to chug food soon. But I'm doing it. Maybe. <laughs> Man. The, what the lengths Link must go through. He literally has to set himself on fire to unlock a shrine. Like... This is a, a very serious monk moment, like the, what is it, the, like those, those monks in, um, is it India that set themselves on fire? Forgive my illiteracy, uh, I need to heal up, I think, you know what, I'll just drink milk, and then more milk, then I'll eat an omelet, and a meat skewer. <laughs> now I'm just picturing Link, like, taking food out of his pockets, holding it up to his skin so it can cook, and then eating it. Did I do it? Roar! So epic, bro epic, brother. What a powerful display. What fire. That was something else, brother. Well, sweet. What began as a quick, uh, a quick escapade for Korok seeds ended as our 112th shrine and the ability to start the episode with yet another heart container. What a pleasant surprise. Also, it means a lot less work for me later. Whoa, that's a shrine or some such. It really appeared just like that. So the legend was true, brother. You won the contest of ultimate endurance, little man. You're amazing. Now we can stop talking because this re this voice really we wears out Pal's throat. <coughs> <coughs> man, that voice is terrible. I should never do that again. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, I'm gonna uh, drink some water in this loading screen. <coughs> Juluna Apparatus. Juluna Shrine. Oh, it's a oh, we haven't had an apparatus in so long? What is the... Oh. The goal is just to... Okay, the goal is to get these all activated. Okay, I did it. And that brings us to our next area. That wasn't too bad. I was expecting that we would have to... I would have to worry about not hitting the same switch twice because it would deactivate it. But I guess that still is a possibility for this one. Also need to... Oh, there's the chest. Need to pay attention to these chests first. Although I'm not... Oh, that's how I get it. Okay. Let's just grab this one over here. Uh, wait. Can we not? We can't use this, can we? Uh, that's awkward. So that raises that up. So I... Oh, we can point this thing anywhere. Okay, so let's use this to get that chest. Point it that way. Is that good enough? No, not quite. Not quite. This should do it. Uh, got it. I just realized I'm still naked, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, golden Claymore, that is useless. We place the block on that switch. And then the golden claymore can hold down the other switch? I'm not sure if it's heavy enough for that, but we can get... Oh, it is It is heavy enough for that. Okay. So then, it's just a simple manner of angling this so that it hits all the switches. Oh, and then that's not the end of the shrine. I see something else through there. Okay, so I, this is going to be built upon even more. I, I, I thought that was like the pinnacle of what we're going to be dealing with. Oh, what is this garbage? What is this? What is this? Well, I can tell you what it probably is. It's probably a hidden chest somewhere? Maybe? Or maybe not. Never mind. Okay, so what does this apparatus do? Oh! Oh, this is what I was thinking about earlier. We have to light all of these without touching the water. Wait, wait, what does that switch do? 
Oh. Hmm. That's... I, I can... Let's see. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Hit that. Get on this really quick. Light. 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 No, didn't work. Ah, oh, I was close though. Wait. Oh, okay. The there's the chest. I thought there was one. I was just holding down the uh, the switch with a wind cleaver, but I, I figured they would just give they would give us some uh, some form of holding it down ourselves. And they do. It's a it's a chest. But that still doesn't get me much closer to solving this thing. Did I do it? Yes! <sighs> I forgot how tedious... <clears throat> how tedious these the apparatus shrines are. There was no good solution to that. It wasn't like, oh, do this, 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 and this, and then, then you're done. It's like, no, you need to do all these things, but you have to spend five minutes doing each of them because it's not an exact science. But still, I beat it, and it was a puzzle. Oh, I should probably grab my wind cleaver now, shouldn't I? Oh, but then that'll... <sighs> Do I really? Okay, I have to do this. Grab, throw my oh, stupid weapon away. Grab the wind cleaver and then run through the gate. <laughs> Once again, janky solutions. In the comments section, I was asked if the guy who sells us women's clothing says anything different after, well, after all this time has passed. So I thought, why not? Oh my. It's you. You came back. Oh. I thought I'd find some troubled merchants around here and trade with them. But for some reason, I just can't take my eyes off that divine beast. Mm. You know? It was a bit of effort on my part to pick out just the right clothes for you. To see you in that outfit now. Would you like to change, ba change back into your gruler clothing? Uh, sure? Oh. Um, hold on a second. Why... <laughs> Did he change our clothing? <laughs> Why? I knew it. You look adorable. Absolutely adorable. Oh. Just so adorable. T. Anyway, Savork. Okay. Do we <laughs> he changes our clothing. Awesome. Now, if we talk to him in this clo in these clothes, actually, if we can ask him if what we can buy, we can get more. We can buy more. Okay. So, I guess he does say something different. Yeah, it does have some different dialogue. Oh, oh my, you little prankster. Were you trying to play a joke on me? A gag at my expense? Well, you better watch it. Ahem. <laughs> Just kidding. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay. Well, you guys were right. He had some different dialogue. Just a really random thing to do. But, sure. Oh. <sighs> really? Another quest? Okay, we're gonna try and make this one quick. Hello! You're here to meet your soulmate too? That's right. Yeah, same. There's just one problem. Nobody's shown up yet. I thought this was the Sweetheart's Pond everyone was talking about, but maybe I'm in the wrong place? <sighs> Where's the special someone I've been waiting for? Is this a sign? Should I put myself out there more? Uh, believe in yourself. Are you trying to cheer me up? Because I don't- because don't worry about me. My mom always said you can do anything you put your mind to, Mimos. Anyway, what about you? Putting your faith in some silly legend won't make the ladies come calling. Where's that special someone I've been waiting for? Uh, is this a sign? Try another pond. Hmm. You really think that'll help? Okay, obviously this pond is mirroring the- the pond we found in... Actually, right over... And include us somewhere, uh, right there? No, right here, right here. It's obviously mirroring that one, so there's some interaction there, but tell me what I should do, and then I'll come back to here. Otherwise, I'm getting along with the episode and going back to Hebra.
Finally, we're back in the Hebrew region, and we can start this episode off proper. Uh, the last couple of episodes, we've been trying to find a shrine somewhere around the Hebrew North Summit. It, the reading is strongest around here. However, I've been told in the comments sections, actually the episode that I was told this came out today, that we were looking in the wrong area. If you zoom in all the way and then zoom out once, it is just southeast of the last T in Hebra North Summit. And there's a tiny body, oh, there's a tiny body of water right next to it. Is this it? I think it is. Wow. There it is. And it looks like our, our modus operandi is going to be identical to what we did earlier on. Well, actually, was it last episode that we did this? I think it was. Last episode where we... Oh, oh no, no, no. I do not want to be break melting this thing. Where we take a snowball and drop it down. Here, let me, let me actually set it back because it looks like I only have a couple shots at this. We're going to jump down and drop it. Will that do it? Survey says... Oh. Oh. It wasn't big enough. Oh, uh, Mr. Snowball? I did not give you permission to move here. I just touched you and you started moving. Uh, Mr. Snowball, please don't break. You broke. Hit, hit, hit. Now it should jump over. No, it didn't. Uh, this is harder than I expected. This is my last shot. Okay, stop it there. Run, 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 run! One, two, three, four, five, six. Go! No! One, two. Let's call this good. Come on. You can do it, Snowball. This is my absolutely last shot. Roll. Get bigger. And. And. Yes! Yes! That almost didn't work. And if I'm not mistaken, we have just found Valak Mountain. Oh, yes. I've been hoping that they would do this since we first... Whoa, and here's the... Here's the Heber Gray skeleton. <laughs> I was really hoping this entire time that because Monolith Soft made this, that they would have some Valak Mountain type thing in in Breath of the Wild. I mean, it's it's they have to do it. It's it's one of the things that made Snow Area so special to me was the beauty and and like the the uniqueness of that area. And here we go, the Ice Cave Leviathan of the Hebra Great Skeleton. Man, I'm so happy that they did this. It's beautiful. This is by far one of the prettiest areas of the game. Oh man, it's gorgeous. And there aren't, there don't seem to even be Korok seeds either. Oh wait, no, I see one. To Cuomo Shrine. Is that a Korok seed right there? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, okay, they did one Korok seed. I, I was, I should really worry if they don't use every single landscape in the game to hide a Korok seed. That would just be, that would just be too much. Okay, I'm going to get this Korok seed, I'm going to timestamp it, and then I will meet you inside the shrine. Also on a bright note, we have 435 Korok seeds. We're that close to getting halfway, which I am very proud of. Also, uh, I in between episodes, I... Did some grinding uh, of a very strange variety. I did gr I did uh, star fragment grinding, and you'll see that my my trousers of or my uh, set of toilet is complete, and we get master sword beam up. So we have that upgrade. Uh, it is an upgrade that I was made aware of um, in my own research because I had to look it up to see if it was worth it to upgrade uh, the amiibo gear. And finding out that it had a unique status 
ailment status boost, I, I decided to go for it. Uh, so I did so by just resting at, uh, what is it, Shavanir, is it? Shivanir Shrine. I would uh, drop a campfire there, uh, wait until morning, then wait until night, and it was guaranteed that a star fragment would drop between here and about there. And it would drop every single time, which was pretty cool. It was a, a great method to farm, and I got all of the, like, the 15 star fragments I needed to both upgrade the this gear, and then also the diamond helm, which we got very early on in the Let's Play. And so now, all of my gear, except for, like, the, the Sheikah mask, is upgraded. And the Sheikah mask, I didn't do it because it's not unique at all. Alright, let's get our 115th Shrine Orb. Uh, correction, that was my 113th. Now, what are we going to be doing with the rest of this, this episode? I know we already did get a shrine down, uh, was it, it was this one? We got the Julana Shrine. Well, there's another thing I would like to do. Uh, it's, oh, where was that? It's the, it's a shrine quest, which we got in Rito Village, called Bird in the Mountains. Uh, there's a lone cedar tree on Heber Mountains. Um, and apparently, I've gotten comments, and it says... Oh, we're gonna have to refine that, aren't we? It says that we can... Or they said that we could see the shrine, uh, or the area. It's an area shaped like a bird, and we can see it from the peak. I think it's Talanto Peak. So we're going to, uh, through the magical power of editing, head there and see if we can find this thing looked below him to the northwest when suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide my grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie and as he got a little bit closer he saw something super important inside its belly so we need to look below us to the northwest and we will see a bird huh a bird with its wings ah Oh my, where did you come from? Die! That is the most scared I have been in this game. Oh goodness, okay, we're supposed to be looking below us to the northwest. We're going to be seeing a bird with its wings spread out wide. And I've been told that that is something in the scenery, not something, not an actual bird that we should be seeing. I'm looking northeast. I am great at directions. Uh, northwest. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. That kind of looks like a bird. Ish. It could not be a bird, but it looks sort of like a bird. It's the most bird-like thing I'm seeing here. So maybe that's it? Maybe the sun just needs to be in a different ang- hitting it from a different angle, and then we would have seen, but that doesn't really look like a bird at all, but there's a Korok seed up there. Huh. Now that looks like a cult. I think we just uncovered a cult of- what are they even doing? What- what are they doing? I think they're about to blow up. Yeah. That's what I think of cults. Okay, so, huh? This is kind of this is kind of weird. We're not really seeing a bird. Maybe I need to go up there and sleep. But I've been told there's a bird, and not just a korok seed. Yeah. On second thought, what I'm standing on looks nothing like a bird, and I should probably Google to see what birds look like before I make assumptions like that. Oh, oh, bird. Oh, bird. Bird. Do you see bird? I see bird. It's right above my cell cloth. That's bird. I think. That looks like bird. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. Bird, bird, bird. Oh, I see it. It's the bird. That, do that doesn't look like a bird at all. I don't... <laughs> I, apparently... Apparently, if we look at this quest... Uh, lone cedar tree. Grandpa stopped at a tr uh, on a big tree. 
Uh, let's see, I'm trying to... Snow White, that's the first clue. Um, something super important that was ingested inside of its belly. I think her grandfather, what, what's her name? Molly's grandfather was actually a drug dealer. And he came, he came to the Hebrew Mountains to, uh, get high up, if you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's what happened, and I think that we probably took some of the same stuff, although I have to hand it to him, that's, that's a well-hidden shrine, you can only, you can really only see it from that angle, so, I, I gotta hand it to him, there's a guardian over there, have we even explored this? No. Also, the name is Buron, or, like, Bird Snow Shelf. So, yeah, it makes sense. Alright, what is this shrine? The third and, la and final shrine of the video, Mozo Shano Shrine. I'm gonna call it Mozo Dun- No, because it's done. A major test of strength. Yes! Yes! Major strength test of big- where where do I do? There there it is. Ah, oh, I'm ready for this. Great way to end off the video. Now, one thing I noticed in uh, in post a couple videos back is that the floor here is shiny, and I I'm gonna feel stupid because this isn't a new thing. We've seen this before, but we can. Oh man, that is cool. That is really cool. Oi. We can, uh, we can raise up the floor to block his attacks. That's, that's pretty sweet. It, it, it just kind of made me think, Oi! because we, we encountered recently a shrine where you could pull out the wall. And I, I thought, you know, maybe you can interact with that. Here, in fact, let's, let's give this a whirl. <laughs> Get it? It's, it's cause it's a whirl. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Come on. And... Blow him away! That did nothing. Oi! Come on. Okay, I'm just trying to- I'm mainly just trying to get rid of this Wind Cleaver because it's bad. You can see, even with a triple attack buff, it's not doing anything to this guy. Whoa! That was a good dodge! Man, if you slow down some of these dodges, more so than they already are, uh, you will notice, within a very short period of time, that they are actually not- not slow, or not, uh, true dodges. The spear will go through you. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to equip this. Uh, equip these. And then ingest. Just ingest. What do I want to ingest? I want to ingest this. Yeah, and then I'm going to switch to my bad axe. And then I am going to... Oh. Wait, what attack is this? Oh, it's this attack. doop doop There. And... Bow spin. Look at the look at those double hits. Look at the damage he just took. Look at that. And then here's my opportunity, of course, to look cool. Nope. Stop. I meant. Uh, look cool. Ugh. Get through. Like a boss. Gun, 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 gun. Tabadachi. Gun, 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 gun. Uyo. Gone, 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 uku ehi no wako, yeah. Ikiwaradu kame uku kasuke. I don't know. I don't know the Japanese for that song. I know Japanese for other songs. And if you asked me to sing another song that I do know in Japanese, I would have a quite a selection. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's not true. Not quite a selection, but I would have a selection. But uh, th that song I cannot. Ooh. Power 70 Battle Axe. Uh, this spear is equal to my Power 28, which means it is also a Power 28. Which means I should drop... Duh, gracious. Gr you know, I think I'm gonna have to drop the Great Thunder Blade. It's a great weapon. Did not mean to do that. It's a great weapon, but I have an uh, unlimited amount of Great Thunder Blades. And honestly, I'm I kind of need the flame blade right now. If I want to only use one uh, one co piece of cold gear, then I kind of need to be able to have a fire blade, a diamond. Good. I was hoping I'd have to do some inventory management, but no. We got a diamond, and we are done with the shrine. 
And that is a great way to cap off what has been a fantastic episode. Now, if you want to hear me sing Japanese, then... <laughs> Then come to my house and listen to me sing in the shower every morning. But otherwise, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll just I'll sing some Japanese tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but for the next episode, which I guess might be tomorrow for you guys because the schedule's thrown off a bit. But I'll I'll sing some for the intro of next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity. Please, do me a favor, click that like button, but most importantly, tell your friends because that is how channels are, are me really meant to grow now. Because the YouTube algorithm is very broken, uh, you guys are responsible for spreading the good news of the PAL. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and join me next time where we... Uh, I don't I don't even know if there are any more shrines in this region, uh, but we are going to find out that that obviously is our last shrine um, We're not going to be touching that until we have 119 So I do know where there is a shrine that we haven't uh, gotten it's around this area So we're probably gonna be going there if we don't find another shrine But otherwise we're just going to be going in every region where we don't have a green path and we're going to be seeing about that and uh, Yeah I'll join or join me next episode where we do just that and for now enjoy the slew of Korok seeds that is about to commence. See you guys later. Super Saiyan Korok. <laughs> Not despawn. Timestamp pal. <laughs> Thank you.
beautiful Hebra Falls and the Hebra Headwaters. There's bound to be something interesting here, like... Is that a T-posing? Ha! <laughs> it's a T-posing, uh, Liz Alphos. <laughs> that is not supposed to happen, nor is that normal, because that is a T-posing ice breath Liz Alphos. <laughs>